Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this Theo Jensen mechanism with Charoid in SolidWorks. Okay, so before start make sure that you download this file. You can simply uh, find this image on Wikipedia link. Just search on Google Theo Jensen mechanism and a Wikipedia page will show up and just click on it and you will get this image. Okay, so we are going to make this mechanism. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start. So first thing that I have to do is I have to make this M part. Okay. So for the sake of simplicity, I am going to make all my parts in assembly because it is easier to do work in assembly mode instead of making individual part, then bring back to assembly, then assemble it. Okay. It is just a time consuming thing. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just simply making all my parts in assembly. So first thing, click on here, click on new part, select the front plane. Now press control plus eight for normal screen to the view. So here you can see from the image. So first I have to define a distance A and L. Uh, so basically, the uh, let's do this work. Uh, this A and L distance. Let's do this later onwards. First focus on M. That is 15. So click on slot commands. So draw a line of 15 centimeter. Uh, 15. It is basically 15 mm. So it is quite small if you ask me. But again, it is just for teaching purposes 0 and give the dimensions to mm to mm so, go home uh, go features extrude up to 2 mm click ok so we have created the first part similarly we are going to create j j is 50 so what we are going to do is press ctrl plus 8 zoom out click on edit assembly mode click on here click on new part select the front plane and draw the sketch as i'm showing uh, this one is i guess 50 j is 50 uh, so to mm two point five extra up to two mm click open exit it. Uh, now what we are going to do is go here click on this so that we can view center axis here and move this part and let's do some mating for this part so what we can do or most simple thing select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 simply draw a point anywhere for example here now give the dimensions so here you can see a is 38 and l is 7.8 so 38 7.8 as this what we are going to do is now go here select this and this point make them coincide after I select this face and select the front plane click ok select this and select this and move it little here now select this and select this space click ok so uh, we have created two parts m j now we are going to create and BDE. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make BDE as a single part. Okay, for the sake of simplicity. <coughs> so B is 41.5, D is 40.1, and E is 55.8. Okay. So what I'm going to do is click on here, click on new part, select the front plane. <coughs> uh, first, draw the sample lines. Select this line, make it vertical. So B is 
uh, 41.5 and this 40.1 41.5 and this is 40.1 and this will automatically convert 57.71 e is 55.8 okay instead of making as an individual part i have to make it separate because uh, the dimension will not match if i try to make as a, a, a single part so i need to make them individual part okay so my bad just you know that i'm making this first time this chariot mechanism so, sorry if i do a mistakes 2mm 2mm 2.5 extrude to 2mm ok and this one part is j here exit it make sure that you assemble as as you are making so that later onwards when they become a lot of parts you will not face any kind of issues to make them now suppose if i make them individual parts and assemble then forget about that i will make able to make it it's like this and select the origin by pressing control okay now next part is d and e so d is this now we have to create and make sure that you give them name as well so the this part is name is D so select this press so first click on rebuild now select this past uh, now give it name d and this one is m f2 press f2 simply m and v j and v so this one is J J B Now we will make E that is 55.8 Again, make sure that you keep in mind that next one is checked on as you will face a lot of problem. I warned you because I saw most of people asking, hey man, I make the mechanism and it is not working. So that is the reason that it is not working because you doesn't click on no external preferences. So make sure that you don't do this kind of mistake.
so if I try to rotate it you can see so still uh, we have to make more parts so now I need to make K F and C and F and C F very near close so I still I need to make different parts so F is at 9.4 so let's make it select this face plus 2 plus 8 now select the front plane sorry go here new part front plane and 39.4 so this part name is 39.4 is F we will Now click on here, click on new part, front plane. Now we are going to make this C part, it is at 9.3. Next part is G that is 36.7 H 65.7 and I is 49 so 69.7 is H 65.7 65.7 
and the last uh, and the second last is i is 49 and we have the last part uh, that is k and it is You can see, uh, I got the animation, uh, I got the mechanism, but still there are many more parts to left. So what I can do is, uh, for now, save this as control as save it as Theo. Theo. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, let's save inside the assembly. Okay, no external path. If you want to, you can do, but I prefer save internally. Now, after saving it, now go to the file, new, click on assembly again and click OK. And import this over Theogen mechanism. Uh, for now, just right click on it and click on hide components because I don't want to see. Uh, uh, let's see for a second. Now first thing that I have to do before I do anything to use this, I need to do mating of this part. So what I can do is select this point, click on mate and select the origin. But hey it is not moving, why? Uh, the reason is that whenever you import a part or assembly at the first time it is fixed. So we need to make it float. After that click on rebuild select this point and by pressing ctrl select the origin click code go inside and boom it's working and now what we can do is mate select this face and select the front plane click ok now if i select this and press ctrl plus 8 uh, it is rotating the whole mechanism and I literally don't want to do that. So what can what kind of thing we can do here? So here's the thing when you import a part from uh, when you import a assembly in assembly again, basically this is called sub assembly. So they will consider as a rigid body. So it is not going to rotate. So to make it work correctly, uh, 
right click on it and click on component properties and click on flexible okay solve as flexible and click ok so it is working now you see uh, now it's better Here you see this this point is also fixed. So I'm going to fix this point as well in my uh, in my assembly. Okay. So it precise how much I need to fix it and what is the point. So as you can see in the assembly that it is A and L. So I'm going to use that. So it is again 38 and L is 7.8. 38 and 7.8. So what I'm going to do is select the front plane, click on sketch draw a point thirty eight seven point eight exit the sketch mode go to the mids select this and this point Click OK. Now I get the proper mechanism. Now what are the things left is to make the uh, now we have to left is uh, to make the charite and the wheel. So let's see how to approach that. So it's like this plane. Press Ctrl plus eight, and let's move it a little bit from here. Now let's try to work on our charite. So click on here. Click on new part. Select the front plane. Oh, I don't get it.
select this press control press it now we need to make wheels so click on here click on your part select the front plane Press Ctrl D and move it. Ctrl D means duplicate. Now Ctrl D. D and just by pressing control and right click your mouse and drag it okay so let's see how to so so As you can see, these two parts are not com uh, completely meeting with each other. So go to assembly. Wait on that.
press control s Uh, first thing I have to do is select this part and right click and click on fix so that this part doesn't move okay because this will create problems if it moves now let me make other parts right click and float for a second I need to float it and select this part mate and select the front plane let's move it horizontal as you can see it is interfering so what we can do uh, select this distance to mm flip dimensions uh, it is still merging so 5 mm Select the part, put it on the side here. This is the vertical. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to do animate. So, go to the motion study, click on motor, select this face, click on reverse direction. Instead of uh, 100, let's let's 30 rpm. Click OK. Again, go to the motor. Select this face. Reverse direction. Instead of 100, 30 rpm. Select this face. Press Ctrl plus 8 and click on Calculate. Uh, right click on orientation click on disable and make it play back normal mode that is you can see it is moving slowly so what we can do increase that to 30 So if I click on play, you can see it's working quite smooth and fine. Uh, let's make these kind of changes to wheels as well. So go to the motor, reverse 30, 30 rpm, click OK, so Thirty RPM. Okay. Click on calculate first. Click on play.
and click on playback mode loop click on stop model let's select this one for a second Go to the mids mid click OK yes Go to the model, right click on this part, make it fix so that it doesn't move. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.